friends. Today, we're going to be recycling a notebook. Here's a notebook that I had as a kid but never used, but the cover kind of looks a little bit lame. So I'm going to spaz it up with some new fabric cover. First, we want to iron out our fabric of choice. Here, I have a patterned cotton fabric. And then you want to gather our supplies. I've got my notebook, my fabric, Mod Podge tools such as a brayer and pusher tool, fabric Mod Podge, a paintbrush to apply that Mod Podge, and fabric scissors. So let's get started. First, we want to cut out a size of fabric that suits our notebook size. As you can see, you want about double the size of your cover plus about one to two inches around the edge of that. Taking your fabric scissors, cut out your cotton fabric. Once you have something that looks kind of like this, the next step is to grab our fabric Mod Podge. And this is where the fun begins. Opening up your notebook, you want to just slather on as much Mod Podge as you want so you get really good coverage over the whole notebook. And you can use this using just a normal paintbrush. Once you've got the Mod Podge all over the outside of your book, go ahead and grab your fabric and do the same thing on the underside of your fabric. Once you've got a whole lot of Mod Podge everywhere, grab your notebook and place it on the right hand side of your fabric like so and stretch the fabric over the covers. Here I'm using my brayer tool and a pusher tool to help push the fabric over the covers and over the spine so that it uh, covers the surface neatly and doesn't stretch the fabric. Then I'm going to open up my notebook and start covering the inside and wrapping around the edges onto the inner cover of the notebook. As you can see, it's as simple as that. You want to grab your scissors so you can snip the fabric so that it can cover the inside well. You might want to fold in some corners so that your fabric doesn't fold over the edge of the notebook as well. Once you've done that to all sides of your book, all we have left to do is cut off the fabric around the spine. As you can see, just apply a little bit more Mod Podge and use your finger or a tool to push the edge of the fabric right in. Ta-da! It's basically finished! But before we allow it to dry, you just want to add a little bit more Mod Podge. Just slather Mod Podge all over that notebook. This really helps the fabric to set onto the notebook. Do this on the outside and the inside of the covers. Where there is fabric, apply Mod Podge. Once you've done this, just leave the notebook somewhere to dry for 24 hours or even more. Then once it's dry, you want to make the inside of the book look nice and neat. So I'm just attaching the first and last pages to the back of the notebook. This is really good if you plan on giving this as a gift to someone so it looks really neat and professional. Once you've done this, all you need to do is leave your notebook overnight or for a couple of days to dry. After which, you can go ahead and start using it. Thank you for watching this video on how to turn your old notebooks into something cool and new with awesome fabric covers.